Welcome to the channel. In this video, I will show you how to install and use a blueprint in Home Assistant that will allow you to monitor the power consumption of your appliances and perform actions based on the start and end cycles. You can use this blueprint for washing machine, dryers, or any appliance that draws an increase in power during its cycle. It will also give you a great insight into what blueprints are and how you can search and find some amazing free blueprints that you can use. So let's dive on in. Now we could configure this simple automation from scratch, but the whole point of the blueprint is to leverage off the community and find an automation that has been converted into a blueprint that we can install onto our Home Assistant instance. You can go to the Home Assistant Community Blueprints Exchange pages directly and search for something that you are looking for. Links in the description. Alternatively, you can navigate to the same location through Home Assistant. Navigate to Settings, Automations and Scenes, Blueprints, Discover More Blueprints. Next, you can search through the blueprints and follow the process we'll run through to install. But in this case, let's navigate to the specific blueprint we are looking for that will perform an action based on an appliance starting or finishing a cycle. Links in the description below. Typically, when you go to a blueprint page, you'll see an icon for import blueprint. Now let's import this blueprint. Press the import blueprint. You'll be taken to a redirection page to your instance of Home Assistant. Now, if you're using a single instance, you can leave the defaults alone. However, if you have multiple instances or a specific address, then you can press the pencil next to the address and edit your IP address accordingly, remembering to add colon 8123 to the end of the address. Press the open link. You'll be prompted to import the blueprint that you are looking at. Press the preview. Home Assistant will confirm that you are wishing to import the blueprint and tell you the name of the blueprint. Press the import blueprint. Now you will see your blueprint listed and available for use. To create an automation based on the blueprint, press the three dots to the right. Select Create Automation. An automation based on the blueprint will be created. Configuration of our new automation is very simple, but we will need to enter the power entity for the plug that you have the appliance connected to. In my case, this is a TP-Link HS110. Whatever power monitoring plug you are using, you will need to check that it has a power entity which is measured in watts. Also, the entity should have a device class of power. You can check this in the developer tools. So let's do that now. Open up another tab and navigate to your Home Assistant instance. Navigate to the developer tools. Select states in the top menu. Press the set state. In the entity field, search for and select your device and select the power or energy or consumption entity for it. You should see this as a lightning symbol next to it. This signifies that it is a device class of power. Now is probably a good time to mention that you have a wealth of information available to you about the instantaneous voltage, current, power usage, etc. All these are available to view on the device, an entity card, or on a dashboard. Alternatively, you can view this graphically over a period of time inside of the History tab available on the left-hand menu. Better still is that in 2023.11 version of Home Assistant, there is a new long-term statistics view. More on this as it becomes available and the community has time to review it. Now we've confirmed that your plug has a power entity. We should navigate back to our automation on the previous tab. Paste in the appliance plug power entity that you just copied. There are various thresholds that we need to set or confirm. These are basically thresholds and durations it needs to be above to confirm that the cycle has started. Conversely, the duration and thresholds that have been used to identify when the cycle has finished. In my testing, the defaults work perfectly well, but you might like to tune these. The final section has two sets of actions. Note that both sections allow for multiple actions. So you can send a notification, flashlights, or announce over Alexa that an application has started or finished its cycle. The options are endless, so I'll leave that up to your imagination. For the case of the demonstration, I'll send a message to my Home Assistant Companion app that the appliance has started and one that it has finished. Press the Add Action in the first actions. These are actions for the appliance to have finished. Select Call Service. Search for and select Notifications. Send a notification via mobile and then send to your specific companion app. In my case, Paul's iPhone. Type in an appropriate message. The washing machine has finished. Now let's do the same for the actions below. These are the actions for the washing machine starting. 
the washing machine has started. Now we need to press the save button and give it an appropriate name and press rename and we're done. In this automation, when the washing machine power passes through five watts and is there for five minutes, it will send a message to my companion app telling me that the washing machine has started. Conversely, when the power drops below five watts and for a period of five minutes, it will send a message to my companion app telling me that the washing machine has finished. So I think you'll agree, this is a pretty cool, simple automation. Although my washing machine does have a sound that it plays, so I can usually hear it, but this is a still a great reminder. Also, if you mix this with an actionable or persistent notification, links in the pop-up above and the descriptions below, that keeps reminding you and only stops when dismissed, when you have emptied the washing machine, or maybe integrate this with a contact door sensor that senses when the washing machine door has been opened on the washing machine then this becomes a very powerful automation. I hope you liked the video and that this inspires you to go and try out Blueprints and see what you can find that the community has developed and it's all for free. If you find any amazing Blueprints, then please drop them into the comments below. As I know everybody loves to find out about new and exciting automations. If you've enjoyed this video, then maybe buy me a coffee, subscribe, ding that bell, or join the ever-growing community. Until the next one, happy washing. Thank you.